Item number SCP-2067 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures A single 1 kilogram sample is to be stored in standard airtight containment locker at Site-76. All cases of SCP-2867 confirmed or presumed out of containment are to be reported to MTF-087 or chewed up for confirmation, extraction, and destruction. SCP-2867 cannot be handled without the use of a standard-issue hazmat suit. Any individuals who ingest or otherwise consume SCP-2867 are to be considered lost and similarly terminated. Description SCP-2867 is a compulsive memetic and physical infection surrounding an unknown amount of gorgonzola cheese produced by POI-17357, Jack Terrence, and GOI-49452, Terrence Farms, in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. SCP-2867 has a compulsive effect on subjects who ingest it, which causes the subject to actively attempt to spread the infection of SCP-2087 to others, eat even more cheese, and eventually data are expunged. See Infection Timeline. Infected subjects are hereby referred to as SCP-2867-1. SCP-2867 infection can be identified with three main traits, an obsession with cheese, glazed eyes, an incredibly elevated heart rate and rate of saliva production. An infection timeline and additional symptoms of infection can be seen in Addendum 2867-A. Addendum 2867-A Infection Subject D-49013 Infection Duration Hour 1 to Hour 168 Observation Researcher Researcher Beep Hour 1 Initial Infection Subject exposed to approximately 20 grams of SCP-2867 Subject reacts favorably to SCP-2867 and requests more Request Denied Hours 1 to 5 Subject paces around the room muttering Microphones pick up the names of over 600 cheeses and multiple as of yet unknown names assumed to be cheeses. Hours 5 to 6. Subject talks through the door to researcher Peep, attempting to start a conversation about cheese. Researcher Peep doesn't respond, but the subject continues to confess. Hours 6 to 24. Subject claws on the floor, licking around the area where the cheese was located. 18 hours of searching produced no recognizable effect. Hours 24 to 26. Subject repeats the recipe and creation process of three 12 times in a row. Hours 26 to 48. Subject sleeps. Subject displays a case of soliloquy with the topic of focus exclusively being cheese. Hours 48 to 49. Subject Choose fingernails entirely. Hours 49 to 51. Subject is given 5 kilograms of cheddar cheese. Subject fully consumes all cheese over a 2 hour period. Hours 51 to 52. Subject bangs on door, demanding more cheese and threatening researcher beep. Subject repeats the phrase, make you love it, 49 times during the outburst. Hours 52 to 100. Subject sits in corner, staring blankly. The subject's eyes have become glassy and the skin is turning grey. Hours 100 to 120. Subject secretes a yellow gelatinous substance from his pores and projects it from his mouth, tear ducts, nostrils, and all other orifices. The substance coats the wall and floor in a two meter radius and begins to build up and solidify around him. Hours 120 to 130, substance takes on the appearance of gorgonzola cheese and begins to mold into circular shapes. Standing blue veins begins to grow outwards from the center of the mass 
and multiple circular shapes begin to form. Hours 130 to 160, Gorgonzola growth has fully molded into 27 different varieties, shapes, and sizes of Gorgonzola cheese wheels. Some cheese wheels show brand markings from repeatable sources, including Io Giordano and Entarde. Both known Gorgonzola producers, whilst other wheels show no branding. A single small wheel weighing approximately 0.4 kilograms forms at the top of the pile, with a single label marked Terence Barnes Gorgonzola, perfect for spreading. Little organic subject matter is left. Hours 160 to 168. Subject has been fully eroded and transformed. All cheese wheels, except for the labeled Temmins Farms wheel, are removed and incinerated. No trace of D49013 is left. GOI 49452 Temmins Farms declared a matter of interest. Notes. This test has brought up two very, very worrisome conclusions. The first being that the SCP-2867 reproduced by producing indistinguishable copies of branded cheese, which constitutes a major containment breach in and of itself, but also that there is a strong possibility that Terence Farms is mass-producing, or at least produced the original wheel of SCP-2867. Our first priority should be finding whoever made this stuff and shutting them down. Dr. Faisal After initial ingestion, instances of SCP-2867-1 will search only for more SCP-2867 variety Gorgonzola, but instances denied SCP-2867 for an extended period of time will extend to eating normal Gorgonzola and other cheeses of a similar flavor, texture, and scent. Instances of SCP-2867-1 were in just copious amounts of cheese with little regard for their own safety. This often leads to death in the subject by intestinal rupture or suffocation. They will also try to make their own SCP-2867 using inadequate tools and ingredients often leading to injury or poisoning. Instances will also actively encourage the consumption of SCP-2867 by other people around them, even going as far as to feed it to domestic pets, livestock, and pests. Instances of an SCP-2867-1 will also attempt to avoid violence and conflict in the methods of transmission, but will resort to extreme methods after multiple days of infection. SCP-2867's effect extends to almost all biological creatures, with notable exceptions being in Audiososaura, Tardigrada, and most species of reptiles. Research into these exceptions is ongoing. Knowledge of SCP-2867 was recovered from instances of SCP-2867-1 in Seattle, Washington, after five men or employees of a local cheese shop gorged themselves to death on cheese. Three witnesses were recovered, two of which were discovered to be in the early stages of SCP-2867-1 infection. Interview Log 2867 Interviewee James Beep Interviewer Dr. Pradesh Forward The interview instance was recovered from the incident in Seattle. After the administration of sedatives, Dr. Pradesh was able to communicate in a semi-civil manner. This interview marks the Foundation's first knowledge of the existence of SCP-2867. So, Mr. Beep, would you mind telling us what happened to you? What? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, do you have any cheese? Cheese? Yeah, you know, like, Enmento, Edom, Mozzarella, Cheddar, Alumi, Gouda, Swiss, Blue Cheese, Parmesan, Cumberbatch, Brie, Feta, Goat Cheese, Chelsea, 
Arciano, Montre Jack, hey, uh, Cantapaz, Gurale, Nicasio, Havila, Chare, Moncia, Medoric, Comte, Chiventin, Rocafort, Monster. Well, what do you think of cheese? It's. I don't mind it. I love this stuff. Didn't always, but then I had this really good cheese, Gongonzola. I remember it perfectly. This guy came into the shop, said he made a great cheese. And oh, it was the best. It was just... Yes? It's just so good, you know. And the guy, he had this ear about him, like he knew stuff, like cool stuff. I think the name was uh, Jack, Jack Terrence. I think that was it. God, I wish I could meet him. It was the best cheese. I see. What do you do after you try to cheese? It was incredible. I mean, I couldn't keep it to myself. Everyone deserves to try that. I reckon you like it. What do you think of Gorgonzola? Well, I'd have to say I prefer a nice brie. James? Excuse me? I said eat it! At this point, audio is muffled due to the microphone being knocked onto the floor. Mr. Beep launched towards Dr. Padish, producing a small chunk of SCP-2867 he had stashed on his person. Mr. Beep managed to forcibly feed the sample to Dr. Padish. Mr. Beep was soon killed by a gunshot by the attending security officer. Crap! Mm. Oh, sir, are you okay? What? Uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. Do you have any cheese? What? Oh, oh, crap! The sound of clouding metal can be heard briefly. Get back! Just some? At this point, Dr. Pradesh began moving towards the security officer, who terminated him by a gunshot. Notes. I'm declaring SCP-2867 a compulsive memetic hazard, as well as a biohazard. Jack Terrence, or POI-17357, is to be placed on a regional watch list. Dr. Faisal. Addendum. 2867B. In the months following the Seattle incident, multiple cases of behavior similar to that of SCP-2867 infection were reported in cities in the Pacific Northwest, including Spoken, Boys, Portland, and Vancouver. In light of this information and growing possibility of widespread infection through public consumption, MGF-87, or chewed up, has been formed to locate SCP-2867's source. Incident 2867-A On beep. 2017, a new strain of SCP-2867 was discovered on the shelves of multiple supermarkets throughout the city of Voice Idol. A mozzarella cheese branded with the Terrence Farms logo was sold out within two hours at all supermarkets by four men, who were reported to explain that they found the best cheese ever. One of the men identified as Beep was tracked to his home. He and two of the other men were found in state consistent with week-long exposure, despite a time frame of only three hours having passed. The fourth unidentified man is presumed to have been fully transformed and is being searched for. This is the first case of SCP-2867 appearing as a cheese other than Gondrenzola, appearing in mass in public and reproducing within a day. I am commissioning the creation of a dedicated group to deal with this. All information regarding SCP-2867 is to be done to Dr. Faiso, new acting head of MTF-087, or chewed up. Addendum 2867-C SCP-2867 source had been tracked to an industrialized dairy farm in Chilliwack, British Columbia.